So, I'm sure we all just recently saw um, the most recent shooting uh, that happened in Oregon. Um, and my condolences go out to everyone uh, involved. I really am sorry. Um, it has me really thinking, <clears throat> as a country, what can we do? Um, why is this still happening? Um, and I know it's never going to be perfect. Um, because I've lived in this world long enough to know that crazy people do exist. Um, and you can't, no matter how hard you try, you can't necessarily control what someone does. But what I do believe that we should do is not so much worry about other terrorist groups from other countries. And am I saying stop worrying about them completely? No, because that's a big issue too. But let's worry more about terrorists that exist in this country. And to me, this is a terrorist attack. Someone going and opening fire at a community college. That is a terroristic act to me. And you might ask yourself, what can you do? Well, um, for, you know, places that these things are known to happen, places where these are known to happen, and, you know, things come to mind like schools, churches, malls, places like that. Um, and again, it's not going to be perfect because there are crazy people, I get that, and we never know where someone's going to go open fire at. But for these places that they are known to happen, let's have some of our military people who are stationed here in this country and not in other countries, stationed here in this country, training and serving and protecting this country as they do. Let's have some of them stationed, walking around places like that, and they don't even necessarily have to be dressed up in their military gear, because I know that is a, a big thing for when people were thinking about attacking. Of course, someone in the military gear would be a perfect target for them, so they can just dress up like this, walk around. We have them on planes, people who do that, um, and, and I do believe that's a good start, having the military people at places where these are going to happen, and maybe not just military people, some of our police. Um, for a lot of the police to just patrol around and don't have anything else better to do, have them come and actually really serve a good cause and protect our people, protect us, protect our kids. I mean, a sign that says no gun, this is a free gun zone, just isn't helping anymore. It just doesn't work. And I believe that that is a good start. And I don't believe taking guns away is going to solve anything because the people who don't need to get their hands on the gun are going to be the ones to do it. Cracks illegal people get hands on that all the time. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny here, but crack is legal and people get their hands on that all the time. So I don't think taking away guns is the solution. Maybe better gun control laws, yes. But I do think, as a country, we need to be more overall worried about the terroristic groups that exist here and not so much the ones that exist in other countries. Because I fear more of the terroristic groups that are in this country more than other terroristic groups. I'm not saying I don't fear them because I do. But I am more worried about this country and trying to get somewhat of a solution where we can prevent such things like this from continuing to happen because it seems like nothing is getting done. 